Hey guys, so happy Friday for me. I just uh, got back from work and I'm gonna go to the gym right quick, but I thought I'd show you guys how this Biore UV Watery Essence goes on. It literally goes on like a watery essence. Um, here, the lighting's not super awesome, but um, I kind of like it, honestly. It feels like, um, you know, I feel like it's kind of like the feeling, it, it's, it's the aesthetic that you're going for with these like spritzy water things to like kind of, you know, when your, your face is dry and just need like a little lift. However, I don't feel like this is gonna last me very long. And um, I don't know. Um, I really like it though. And I don't detect anything like really strong or stingy. Um, the filters don't, it doesn't even feel like a sunscreen to me, you know, like the ones that I'm used to, but. Ugh. I'm just applying it here on the floor for you. But anyways, yeah, I just got home from Friday clinic. I walked home. But yeah, I just walked home from clinic. Friday afternoon clinic. I'm having a rose hip magic happy hour. I got the magic hip. Shorty, I can hit it once, I can hit it twice. That's how my Friday's going. I just whipped up a batch of some fire burgers. Oh yeah, it got spicy. And I perfected this recipe using the cranberry beans that I got on Vitacost. Oh, don't you fret, because I filmed it for you guys and I'll insert the footage after we're done chatting while I'm in the Jim Baruni with Guy Fieri on the tube. Um, but yeah, I had a great day today. And I really like that Biore UV, um, watery essence. I think it goes on nicely. The filters do not feel like like the stingy sensation because, you know, I'll be honest with you, while I tolerate the chemical sunscreens just fine, they don't really irritate me. Um, I do, there is a subtle neurosensory, I do detect a little bit of stinging when I put them on and I just kind of ignore it. But this, I don't. This literally feels like I'm putting like a watery gel on my face. And I mean, it goes on and then the skin just kind of feels really soft. It's not greasy. I don't think it would break anybody out, but you know, like I've said on here before, there is no magic indicator of that in this world. No ingredient, no satirical or methyl or ethyl or dye or fred. It's gonna predict that. It's individual. Dependent. I really love this Misha Safe Blocks Sebum Zero Sun on my hands. I'm just loving the way this smells. Here, I'll come and sit back down with you guys. We'll just chitty chat here with the rose hip um, before I head to the gym. Um, it just smells so good. Um, here, I'll put it on in case you missed, missed my first unsqueezing. I mean, I'm not even going outside. <laughs> I just want to put this on. But oh, I, I wish you guys could smell this. Like I love the smell of it. It's just so nice. I mean, I detest perfume and this is just really nice. This is the Korea Misha, Misha. I'm not entirely sure, but ugh. today is the rose hip is necessary. Oh, I went to the PO box and check this out. I wanna share this with you guys. It's by far made my life. So you guys know I'm obsessed with my Totoro mug. Like. I don't ever need another mug, so long as I have that mug in my life. He's just perfect. The sweet little silicone topper, the character. I need to see the movie. I mean, if you're new here, I actually haven't seen any of the movies and I had no clue who Totoro was. And I just like impulsively bought that st that thing because I thought he was so stinking cute at H Mart. And now I really need to see the movies. But look what was in my P.O. box. Look at this custom artwork that showed up. I mean, this is a gift from What's the guy's name? Uh, Miraka, Miraki, I, I'm butchering the name. Himself almost. I mean, look at, the, look, at the, look at the coloration in this. I mean, it is awesome. And then, shout out to mom. She sent me this Vogue card here. here. Shout out to mom for sending me this Vogue card here. I really appreciate that. So, just thought I'd share that with you guys. But anyways. That's what happened today, exciting stuff. So, like I said, I whipped up some veggie burgers which are about to pop out of the oven and they're about to come out of the oven so I'll show you how I made them. Okay, so for this recipe you need um, one uh, bag of frozen chopped spinach which is the equivalent of four cups of chopped fresh spinach 
and you need the equivalent of either one 15 ounce can of beans of your choosing, drained and fork mashed, or you could also use, as I've done here, three and a half servings of the bean of your choosing that you have prepared uh, ahead of time and then subsequently fork mashed. So for example, in today's recipe, I have prepared three and a half servings of cranberry beans that I got on Vitacost, um, and I've just prepared them in water pre after soaking them overnight, per the package directions, uh, drain the beans, and you can see they fork mash really, really nicely. They almost look like refried beans as they are, uh, with no oil or anything in them as is. Okay. To that, I'm going to be adding three tablespoons of nutritional yeast for flavoring. As a binding agent, I have here the equivalent of two flax eggs. This is three tablespoons of flaxseed meal combined with six tablespoons of water, and I've just done this ahead of time to give the flaxseed meal time to absorb some of the water and come to the consistency of a binding agent. I've also got three tablespoons of salsa here. Uh, any salsa of your choosing, either homemade or either homemade or or pre-purchased in a store to the spice level of your choosing. I am using this one by Mrs. Renfro's that I got by virtue of Ibotta, the medium salsa. And then you also want approximately three tablespoons of pickled jalapeno slices. Um, and I am also using Mrs. Renfro's, uh, this is her sweet and hot jalapeno sliced peppers for fun. And they are zesty, guys. They are zesty. You also want to reserve a few of these um, unchopped for topping the burger patties. And then for seasoning, I'm going to be adding in a teaspoon of cumin, and um, you can use dried chili pepper flakes. Um, I'm just going to be using up the leftover extra spicy salt-free Mrs. Dash seasoning here, which is essentially uh, chili pepper flakes and a few other admixed spices. So now I'm going to just dump all these ingredients in the bowl, as I just mentioned, and mash them all together into one bowl of spicy fire dough, all right? And right around, and right around this point, prior to uh, admixing all the ingredients, I go ahead and turn around and preheat my oven to 350 degrees so that by the time I'm done with this, everything is ready to go. All right, and so you can see that it really just came together pretty nicely here, the, the dough. So I'm basically just gonna form this into uh, balls and then pat them down into patties and put them on my uh, foil line baking sheet here that I have spritzed with a little bit of nonstick cooking spray. And boom, we have six uh, spicy fire burgers. <laughs> they shaped up in patties quite nicely, as you can see. And I've just topped them with one or two little extra slices of the sliced uh, pickled jalapenos for some added zest and spice. Those are now gonna go into the preheated 350 degree oven for 45 minutes. And there you have it, folks. It is spicy fire veggie burgers. Feed this to a carny and they won't know what hit them. <laughs> uh, that being said, uh, I don't think this is a uh, rosacea friendly food, depending on how uh, high you titrate the spice, but. Yeah. So, uh, I'm gonna put those uh, in the microwave to uh, not attract any critters and let them cool while I'm in the jimbo, and uh, that's gonna be delightful. Friday night, getting getting invigorating ginger and mint. You know what they they always do in the uh, when you get your hair cut at uh, at uh, Aveda, and they uh, give you a little hand massage. They always put a little essential oil, and then they have it huff it. Oh, that's good. 
Um, so I just got out of the, the shower after my gym and I realized that I jokingly made the comment about uh, my uh, Spice Burgers, which you guys should totally make this weekend if you so choose. Um, my Spice Burgers not being rosacea, rosacea friendly um, and then I realized that may elicit some questions. Uh, spicy foods can sometimes trigger uh, blood vessel dilation in the face and if you're somebody with rosacea, anything that kicks off uh, even the slightest hint of blood vessel dilation in the face uh, can uh, certainly precipitate a bad flare of the rosacea. And so folks with rosacea sometimes find that spicy foods or steaming the face, which is always a no-no in my opinion, uh, can, can really worsen their rosacea. Likewise, going to the gym may kick off a flare. Uh, so uh, a little tip uh, for, for, for that in the gym is just to keep a few ice chips in your mouth or a cold, uh, ice cold cloth around your, your neck while you work out to uh, counterbalance the, uh, the rise in heat to your face. Um, but uh, skincare update wise, tonight I tried out a new guy in the lineup. Okay, so it's summertime. You guys, with whatever your skin concern is, we're, ne we're talking from the neck down here. Whatever your skin body concern is, do not neglect moisturizer on your body in the summertime just because it's hot. Uh, your skin still needs a little assistance in repairing the barrier regardless of your age. This mature skin nonsense needs to stop. Everybody needs to moisturize. It's not a, you know, over 60 thing. Um, okay, so tonight, guys, I tried out compliments of the beauty sash. Compliments of Beauty Sesh, I tried out the Skin Food Intensive Shade Butter Cream. This is a Korean skincare product, and first impression, I'm in love. I mean, it has a, it smells like shea butter, okay? I think this is, this is akin to cocoa butter in terms of the way it smells a little bit. So if you're a fan of cocoa butter, which is fine as a moisturizer, it's pretty good. Um, you might really like this, and I like it because it's got the shea in it, which can, you know, be helpful and is it's just aesthetically nice. I think people like it and it does help soothe the skin. Um, but it has the ceramides in it, and it also has the oat extract, which is like what's in the Aveeno products that's helpful for um, kind of uh, dry skin. So folks with keratosis pilaris, I think this is a great one on the upper arms and thighs where you get those flares of it. Um, and folks with, uh, you know, just just guys and gals with, you know, no real skin issues, just chilling at home on a Friday night about to fire up a uh, Kavita water, um, you would not be harmed by this, I don't think. But if you are sensitive to fragrance, that is the only potential offender in this. I, I can't read the uh, ingredients. Uh, it may have a little hint of fragrance. So nobody is as good as 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 a good old dad here of body moisturizers. My CeraVe moisturizing cream. No fragrance. Um, you know, this is this is gold standard in body moisturizers as far as I'm concerned. And don't be fooled by marketing gimmicks and marketing claims that their ceramide mix is somehow better than another ceramide mix, that it's got a special ceramide or a pre or a post or an ad hoc or what have you ceramide. No, that never pans out to be anything meaningful, trust me. Um, it's really just helpful to have ceramides, period, in a body moisturizer because, you know, they not only kind of help make up for some that you start to lack, um, but they also stimulate your skin to start making its own again, so they're helpful. Um, so don't fall for the marketing gimmick part of it. Just look for ceramides and ideally a fragrance-free body moisturizer if you've got really uh, dry, sensitive, inflamed uh, skin and red, raw areas of skin. Definitely, definitely fragrance free. Um, so, and then another one that I talked about um, in my cruelty-free skincare um, kind of review that I also really like um, and is good for summertime, good for the KP arms. Got, it has got, um, you know, some vegetable oils which have, you know, some natural fat, some good fatty acids in them that can kind of also help restore the skin barrier is the Shikai Borage Therapy Advanced Formula fragrance-free lotion. This one also has oatmeal in it. It's also got the shea butter. However, he does not have, um, he does not have, uh, ceramides in him. So, not perfect, but 
very good for you cruelty free seekers. So far, he is one of the better ones that I found as far as a uh, quote cruelty free body moisturizer. Although I think some of you said CeraVe is. I just don't want to misspeak on that. Um, so um, for now, this one has the um, Leaping Bunny on it. Um, so I, I, and I like it. Um, one thing about this I've noticed though, um, okay, not all of you may, may relate to this, but this has, it, it does not contain fragrance, but it has a natural odor to it that is not offensive, okay? Um, I'll just put a little on my hands. And you know what it smells like? I mean, it's really subtle. It is not off-putting, okay? This is not, this is not a uh, negative about this product. It's almost kind of kind of oddly comforting. It smells like, it smells like a um, American pizza, fast food pizza chain. I can't explain it. Like the inside of the, the pizza box, like when you open it, the pizza box up and you smell the lid or like you, you, you put the box in your fridge maybe and you eat the cold pizza the next day for breakfast. Like, like that's kind of the best way to eat that stuff anyways. But, um, and I'm not talking about good pizza or anything like that. I'm talking like, I mean, I haven't been in one of these places since, I don't know, like sometime in probably 20 years. You know, the the Domino's pizza or the Pizza Hut, you know, where you go in and you play Pac-Man. And I mean, no self-respecting Italian would ever eat that stuff. But it has kind of an odor of a, it's a subtle pizza box odor. I mean, it's really, really, I have a very, 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 uh, astute olfactory system, it's it's remarkable. I think I could be a sommelier in another life, um, even though I don't drink much wine. My ability to, to detect to detect scents is is just a little skill I have. So this kind of smells like the the upside of a pizza box. I, I don't know. Um, so he's oh he's good though. I like this one, and you, I don't think you would be bothered by him. He's far far better than his uh, drugstore um, non cruelty free. Um, one this one that I don't like, Cetaphil Baby, has some similar uh, attractive ingredients like shea butter. I believe it has. No, this one's got some um, sunflower seed oil. This is more of a plant oil-based moisturizer, but it, it's got. Um, Mama, don't put this on your baby. And you may be like, why? What is the toxic alk group in here? Blah, blah. It's not about a toxin that's in this. It's about the fact that it smells like a hamster cage. And you don't want your baby to smell like a hamster. That is that is just off-putting in and of itself. The fragrance of this needs to go. And then the other thing that I don't like about this product is for particular specifically for like babies with eczema, kids with eczema, who, you know, you would probably be picking this up for. I'm just guessing. I don't have kids. Um, if you put something like this on eczema inflamed skin, there is an ingredient in this. Calendula officinalis flower extract. Calendula. That uh, we frequently see um, allergic contact dermatitis to calendula in children with eczema. So I don't know what uh, Cetaphil was thinking with this product. I mean, ugh. Um, I'm just not a fan of it and it smells offensive. So the pizza box smell, if you've used this, shout out. Tell me if you, you detect it. I don't know. But this, I ain't mad at you. I like this one. This is a good one for, for keratosis. All of these are good for keratosis pilaris, by the way. I don't want to neglect you KPers out there. Um, I know I'll get some comments about putting this on the face. I'm not talking about the face here. I'm talking about the neck down. Um, you know, you'll ask if you can put this on the face. It will clog your pores. I don't know, okay? I wouldn't put it on my face, but I don't think it would break anybody out if they did. So if you try it that way, let me know how it goes, but it's not really something that I would tell people, oh, put this on your face. Um, great body moisturizer though, so. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of give uh, some body moisturizer rundown for you guys. I am so stoked. Stay tuned. I will be trying out the um, Dr. Jart uh, Ceramide, and we'll see how Dr. J compares. Although I, I don't think he's affordable at all. Um, so I'll try that out in a few. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. I'm going to conclude it here. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.